Welcome again to Irinka's Kitchen. I have another family favorite recipe that I'd like to share with you. It's a soup recipe and it's called cauliflower soup, cardfio lavash. So what I'd like to do is begin by showing you how this easy, simple, easy recipe can be put together in about uh, 20 minutes. So first I have here a stock pot and what I've done is I've heated part of the oil. I use one tablespoon of olive oil. So this is kind of heating up and then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, fry and saute all my vegetables. So I have a numerous amount of vegetables here. I have one small head of cauliflower. I have two medium carrots. I have one medium parsnip. I have two potatoes and one medium onion and two celery sticks. So I've cut them up, I've diced them up into small pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, and I have one medium onion, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding the onions, and I'm going to saute the onions. Now I've used a large stock pot, so you have a lot of room to put all the vegetables into, into here. So this is uh, going to be sauteed, the onions. And this is a, another family favorite recipe. My mom would make big bowls of soup of this during the winter. It's great for summer also. And um, she'd use fresh vegetables from the market or from the, her neighboring grocery store. She would buy all the uh, vegetables. And it's very filling. You could, you could uh, serve it with some bread, some rye bread. And this could be a meal in one. So I'm going to uh, bring this to a medium heat, making sure that I'm always working with a medium heat as I am um, adding all the ingredients. Then what I do is I add the garlic. So I put that into there and I'm going to add a little bit more of the oil, the remainder of the oil. I've used about half of that, half a teaspoon of that. So now I've got a tablespoon of oil in there. It's starting to heat up. So you kind of have to kind of adjust the heat as you are uh, putting this uh, soup together. Got it at medium heat. And then I'm going to add uh, my celery. And there's two stalks of celery. My recipe calls for two stalks of celery. I've kind of diced them up into small pieces. And I just continue to um, fry and saute this. And then I'm going to add my carrots. So I've got two medium carrots in there, and I've diced, diced that up. I'm going to keep continuing to do this, controlling the heat. And then I'm going to add parsnips. So I've used parsnips, one medium parsnip. And parsnips are quite uh, are sweet, and they're very it's very traditional to put them into Hungarian soups. So you don't need a whole lot in it because it does make the soup a bit sweet. So if you want more, you can add more. I think one one uh, parsnip is enough. So keep continuing to saute that, and then I have potatoes. So I've cut up some potatoes. larger pieces, so I keep stirring that around at a medium heat. And it's important that you stir it because you don't want the, anything to burn. And then I've got my cauliflower. So I've got one head of cauliflower, and so what I've done is I've kind of broken them up into smaller pieces. I've cut them in half. So I'm going to add the cauliflower in there also. And that's, this is the main vegetable in the dish. So I add that into the rest of the, with the rest of the vegetables. And I stir it around, mixing the vegetables together. And this was also a family favorite of my grandmother's. When I went to visit her in Hungary, I'd go to visit her on my vacation. Um, I had uh, time off as a teacher and I uh, would uh, spend about six weeks uh, 
with her, living with her in her apartment. And so uh, I'd go to the market with my aunt early in the morning. We'd get up about 5 o'clock in the morning and we'd go and all the fresh produce would come in on Saturday morning and there was eggs and there was vegetables and fruits, all kinds of different things that we sold at the market. So we would pick up fresh vegetables and fruits for daily. We would go and pick up different produce, meats, for our cooking. And then I've got some parsley, so I'm going to add that. So I've got about a handful of fresh parsley. If you don't have have uh, fresh parsley, you can use dried parsley, but the best is, is, is uh, fresh parsley. So I'm going to add that in there. And the reason why I haven't added it directly to the um, oil is because it can get burnt burned very easily, that's a tip. So my mother or grandmother would add it last, so it doesn't uh, end up burning. So I've got this at medium heat. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I've got four cups of water. And then I've got another four cups of water. I'm just going to see how much, if that's enough. And it should cover your vegetable, vegetables. So I'm going to go and get some more water. And I think I'll probably need about two more cups of water. So just so that it covers the, the vegetables. It's really important that the vegetables are covered with, with the water. And then, of course, I'm going to bring this up just a slight bit a bit higher than medium. I'm going to add my spices. I have some salt, one tablespoon of salt. You can use Vegeta. It's one of the our, uh, one of the ingredients that I use. If you have a hard time finding Vegeta, then you can use uh, sea salt. So I've used sea salt. So I've got one tablespoon of Hungarian paprika. If you're not able to get Hungarian paprika, you can use other paprika. You can use hot, hot, hot paprika if you want you like your recipe to be hot. So I've also got some ground pepper here. So I'm going to add that in there. And you can add as, as much as you like, whatever your taste is. This is looking just beautiful. It's got a contrast of green and, and white, the cauliflower and the uh, carrots. So it's got a, a brilliant color to it. So what I would do is I would uh, bring this, I'm going to bring this to a boil. So I'm going to make sure that I'm here when it starts boiling and then I'm going to put the lid on halfway and I'm going to leave it to cook for about about 30 to 40 minutes but I would check midway to see how well the uh, vegetables are cooked and this then you can serve this with rye bread fantastic dish if you're expecting more company you can double the recipe um, freezing it you could freeze it for for about a week or so you can make um, Put it into freezer containers and warm it up when you come home from work so it's ready to go or you can take it to work with you the smaller containers it's great you know everybody will be gathered around the microwave at work and they'll be saying oh does that ever smell nice because i used to do that i used to take take this uh take these uh recipes that i've made so far in the, the, vid the video and uh, sometimes i'd be sharing them with my my colleagues so it's you become quite popular wherever you work because it's just home, it's homemade homemade food so I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what this great recipe looks like welcome back again to Irinka's kitchen uh, I've had um, a pot of soup it's called cauliflower soup it's called karfia lavash in Hungarian and it's been cooking on the stove for about uh, 40 minutes and it's ready and what I'd like to do is show you what this wonderful recipe looks like. It is, it smells great in the kitchen. It's, you can smell the cauliflower, the onions, the, the carrots, the fresh parsnips and garlic and onions. And it's just a fabulous recipe. And the colors are just great. The color contrasts are just great. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to bring it up to the camera as I, I usually do. And I'd like to show you what this great recipe looks like. The picture of the recipe will also be on my website. A copy of the recipe will also be on my website. So I'd like to just bring this this great soup over and show you 
this uh, great recipe. So I'm just going to bring down the camera. And this is this is great. This is fabulous recipe. It's got all the different colors of contrast, and the paprika makes the um, the liquid just looks sort of uh, reddish brown, and it's just uh, it smells great. The celery is smells. You could also smell the celery in it. So this is a fantastic recipe to serve with uh, your favorite bread, and it's a great. Um, recipe for winter. It's also a great recipe for, for summer. And I hope that you enjoy this recipe that I've prepared again for you. And I hope that you come back into my kitchen again and I will be preparing many more um, favorites of my family. So until next time, bon appetit, yo e tvadyot. My email address is irene at irenkaskitchen.com and my website is irenkaskitchen.com.